Okay guys, uh, welcome back. Second video. We will talk about the shortcuts today. Um, yeah, I will tell you all the important ones uh, I use. Uh, there are a lot more and a lot of shortcuts I don't even know. So I will just tell you the ones I use the most often and I think that's enough for this tutorial series. Um, I will link you also a list where you can find all the shortcuts. So if you need some more, you can find them there. All right, let's hop in. Right in After Effects, we're gonna start with the creating shortcuts, I would say. So if you're in your composition, you just press Control Y to create a solid, as you can see. And the window pops up. You can choose whatever you like. We will do a little purple, for example. If you press, if you press Control Alt and Y, you add an adjustment layer, so it's just an Alt extra <laughs> and if you add control alt shift and y you create a null object that's all you need i guess um, for that it will make it a lot faster and easier than just go on layer new and do it right here and null adjustment and solid are i think the most ones you will use if you edit anime or something else so this is important you don't really need uh, to know the camera shortcut but uh, that's something you can do extra of course another one you will use a lot is the composition one most of the time i just right click and go on pre-compose but what you can also do is Control shift c and it will pop up the window same as you just right click pre-compose so i don't know it's pretty easy in both ways um, yeah whatever you prefer the next one I use a lot is if you do a cut, you will do this by Control Shift D. By selecting the layer before, of course, you just press Control Shift D. Control. You just press Control Shift D, Control Shift D to make a split. If you want to split all in one, you just select nothing and Control Split D and Control Shift D. And you got it, right? Okay, let's delete it. Another one that is really important is if you have keyframes, for example, uh, you wanna scale, you wanna position, you wanna rotate, whatever you want, you need uh, keyframes to make it a lot faster. So for scaling, it's pretty easy to, to know it's the S to get in this menu. For position, it is P. For rotation it is R, for opacity it is T. You can remember that by thinking about transparency and that's basically it. If you wanna if you wanna see all together or more than one, just press for example S for scaling and then hold shift and press P, you can see more than one. If you now wanna see rotate, same way, shift R and rotation will also pop in. If you now make keyframes, for example, we want to rotate this uh, null object, we just uh, go forward, make another keyframe, you can do this right here. Um, for example, change the value to 20 or something. So you see, it will rotate a bit right here. Um, now, what's really important is if you select them, just left click holding left click and select all you can press f9 to create uh, easy ease keys and um, have like this in the graph editor so it's smoothed out that's important for the for the graphs video as well but i will tell you then again for sure okay that's it for for this topic what also is probably what can also be a, a bit helpful is to know the keyframes to hop on the end and on the start of the layer. You can also do this by holding shift and press uh, here or here. It will automatically snap, but uh, it's probably easier if you just press O to get on the end or E to the start. All right, for the tools to reach them, of course, you can just click right here to select the pen tool. But as you can see, there are some letters behind which are the shortcuts so if you press for example v you get to the selection tool if you press 
G, you go to the masking tool. Control T to the text. And yeah, that's basically it. You can just check them by go over it and then it will show up, right? All right, then also really important is how to zoom in. You can use this uh, little zoom tool for sure, but mm, I don't know, just use your mouse wheel, I guess. So for example, um, I'll scale this a bit down to get the middle and we want to see the middle. So what we do is just use the mouse wheel. If you want to focus one point, you can you can hold alt on your keyboard and it will focus on where your mouse is. This is, can also be quite helpful, right? If you're now pretty zoomed in and you want to, I don't know, see the bottom of this uh, rectangle, you can either use the hand tool or just hold the space bar. So if you hold it and use your mouse, you can navigate around. That's basically the most important shortcuts for me I use. And yeah, if you know these, uh, it will be really helpful further on. All right, see you in the next video. Then we will start with the actual edit. Um, yeah, this way are just the basics. So it makes you easier to follow on. And I'm happy to see you in the next one. And we will actually start with the editing. All right, see you soon.